Good evening everyone, so we're looking at a uh, basic unboxing I have done before but i have um, now going to sort of try and do them all in the same theme on this blue mat that I've got here. Sorry, ignore this, it's just the watch I took off earlier. Um, today we're looking at the Fossil Decker 44. It's probably one of the watches I'm going to be considering adding to my collection. I have done a video where I'm unboxing two Fossil Deckers. I'll put that in the, in the description above. Uh, sorry, not in the description, in the video above, and you can have a look at a jewel unboxing if you're like me and considering adding one to your collection. So, initial look at the box is I, I don't really like it. It's a, a sort of an olive green, but it's a very, very unique style of doing it. It's uh, what Fossil like to go for with their, their brand image. You'll notice when you remove the, um, hopefully, I mean, a bit better than I do, when you remove the lid, there obviously the, that manual comes popping straight at you. When you order from Amazon, usually it comes wrapped in sort of cellophane and a impossible to get off um, face cover. It's uh, it made me basically do a whole video again. I try to, try to do that. So here we go, guys. This is the Fossil Decker 44 CH2647. I like to call it the No Time to Die edition. It's a 44mm case diameter with a 13mm case thickness. Retails at £140, unless you were lucky enough to get this within the Amazon Prime deal days at £56, I believe it was. Um, it operates on a quartz movement with an SR9205W battery. Let's have a look at the face here. So we've got luminous orange hands, um, full working Korogoff, and we've got a Korogoff function that actually counts the seconds for us. A full touching meter across the top of the bezel as well. Um, Let's have a look at the Korogoff. Simple Korogoff push buttons. I'm not a big fan of how much it lags, but it's no matter. And it's got an accelerating wind back function. That's what I really like about this watch. I like the fact that it winds and it speeds up. I quite like that. Really nice touch. And I like the little orange bubble on the second hand. Inside the actual face of the watch, just a plain sort of inside finish there really there's nothing much to say inside there but this dash system gives it a little bit more depth and i think that that, that white bit just goes quite nicely with the orange as you might notice you get a 100 meter water resistance with this watch also known as 10 atm and obviously the chronograph so let's come out to the casing and then obviously the bezel the bezel is a full jet black bezel as you can see touchy meter touchy meters are used for speed timing like so fast objects and stuff like that lap times and stuff like that full stainless steel casing consistent all the way around the side here a little bit of a sort of a two-tone effect in terms of a polish finish and like a matte finish on the crown a circular sunray finish on the actual chronograph buttons let's have a look at the chronograph now uh, not the chronograph sorry the crown first position it's got a decent amount of feedback when you move it out to this first position and a very nice movement to the date dial really good Really nice strong movement there. Second position. Yeah, got a decent amount of feedback there. It could be stronger, but it sits on the good side, I'd say. The simple push down crown feels nice when you push it in. It feels like it's got, got quality there, as you should do for the price point. So just a little bit about the actual Fossil brand. They uh, they focus on sort of optimism, creativity, or creative spirit, sorry, and uh, authenticity of like say uh, self-discovery they focus highly on that seeing what you like out of watches they were founded in 1984 in texas and did you know they actually uh, own sort of rights to sell uh, well design watches under the emporio armani brand they can't they don't own the actual emporio armani brand as far as i understand but they they can brand and sell watches under their name so they're like basically like a designer for them that's a little bit about the brand if you're interested to know. Coming out to the uh, the strap, you've got a silicone 22mm strap with a black line stitching going all the way down the side here. Coming down to the buckle, the buckle is unmarked as you can see here. It's a nice thick buckle sitting in indented windows as you can see from the little uh, the gradients inside there. On one of the, uh, on the other model, you've actually got a uh, printed fossil on the buckle around the back of it you've got a quick release system on the strap and the strap has these sport this sporty texture allowing for water to channel through it if you uh, get soaked or whatever two free roam holders to hold this so i was going to say uh, i was guessing at two but i thought it was going to be fixed in place 
got two completely free roam holders for this for the